All right, boys and girls, today we are going to be making a three-dimensional star. We're starting with something flat, and by the end, we're going to have something that's going to be popping off the paper, which is kind of cool. What we're going to do first is we're going to establish that this is the marbled side, and this is the back. So when I talk about having the marbled side, that's one thing. When I talk about the back, this is what I mean. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to fold the marbled side. And in order to do that, you'll have it on the back. And you're going to come to this point, And you're going to line up the point. That's super important that you line that up. You're going to put your finger there. And with this finger, all you have to do is kind of bring it back to here. I usually like to take my thumb and do this, but whatever. And you're going to come out and out. Now it's important that they line up. So we're going to take it slow so that everyone gets it right. Get that to the corner, bring it down, and then come out. Now notice that I can see the marbled side. I'm not seeing the back. That means I did it just right. So now what we're going to do is open it up. And now we're going to go this direction. I just folded it this way. Well, now I'm going to do the same thing, but I want the fold going across here. So I'm going to come here with the back side facing up because I want the marble to show. I'm going to come to this point. I line it up just perfect. I put my finger down really hard. I follow this back and then I go out and out. Once you know that your lines are really good, you could even take the back of your fingernail and just kind of rub over it like this. That's nice. Now, we're going to do two more folds. This time I want your marbled side to be up. And we're going to go this direction. Talk about a folding quiz. We are going to go like this and line it up. Put your finger right there and hold it tight. Bring your finger down and go out and out. Once we've done that, we're going to open it up and we're going to do it again. Marble side up. Hold it like this. Hold your finger there. Bring this down and out and out. So what you essentially have now is two uh, four folds that are going this direction and four folds that are going in. This is called a mountain fold because it looks like a mountain. This is called a valley fold because it looks like a valley. You see the difference? Mountain, valley. So on here I have going mountain, valley, mountain, valley, mountain, valley, mountain, valley. So it's perfect. Now what I'm going to do is open it all the way up and I have this handy dandy little measuring stick. You'll notice that there are two marks on here. It says marbled side up, make a mark here and here, and right here it says make this edge even with the edge of the paper and there's an arrow. Let me explain to you what I mean. What you're going to do is find the folds that are the valley ones, these ones the ones that are kind of straight on here. Not making an X like this, but making a plus. I'm going to come right to this fold right here. I'm going to line this up so the arrow is down here at the edge of the paper. And right on that little fold here, I'm going to make a mark here, right where that is. And I'm going to make a mark here. So can you see that? I made a mark here and here, right in the valley of my fold. Now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to line up my little ruler and I'm going to make a mark here and I'm going to make a mark here. So now I have two of my valleys marked. I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. Here we go. Three valleys marked. Moving over here. Here we go. Mark number one. Mark number two. Now, things are about to get exciting. You are going to take a scissor 
and right on the fold you are going to cut up to the second mark. See how the scissor stops right there? Then you're going to come here and you're going to cut up to the second mark. Come here, cut up to the second mark. And last but not least, you are going to cut up to the second mark. Perfect. Now, you are about done, believe it or not. You have done some hard work and we are ready to move on. I want you to flip it over and I want you to look at what I have here on the back now. I have these cuts and this is what is called a kite fold. A kite, you'll know, is kind of shaped like this. And what, so it kind of goes like that. What we're going to do is turn this into a kite. And I'm going to show you how. This little thing right here, we, I, I like usually to put my finger right here. We're going to take this and we're going to roll it over so that this edge is in line with the fold right here. So I'm going to go whack. So look at it again. I had it open like this. So here's where my cut is. And I'm going to go whack right there. Notice that I have a nice point over there. Now I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. I'm going to bring it over. I can kind of like say, oh, I want to get that just right over there and fold. So now, do you see why it's called a kite fold? Because it's like you have a little kite right here. So guess what? If you get this, you can rock and roll. You're going to come to the next one, fold it over here, and go like this. There's no, no good reason to rush on this. Because if you rush, you're going to end up going like this. You're going to be like doing stuff like this. And you're going to be like, what? Remember, right here in the corner, that's where we need that paper to roll over. Basically so that it ends up being folded into kind of like a perfect triangle there. Come over here, do the same thing. I'm almost finished. And now I got one more. Wonk. And wonk. Beautiful. Now if I flip it over, I now have a beautiful star. It's like straight out of Bethlehem. The wise men would have loved it. But you'll notice that it's flat. So what I would like to do is to have it pop up and be three-dimensional. How cool would that be? Well, let me show you how you're going to do that. You're going to come back over here and remember those little marks that we made? You see that little mark right there? What I'm going to do is take my glue stick and I am going to put glue right... I'll show you. If here's where the mark is, I want you to glue up this whole section right here. Just on the one. You don't have to do this one. Just here. So I'm going to come here and glue, gluey, gluey, glue. And now what you're going to do is take it and you're going to bring it over to that mark. Now because you guys have awesome little fingers, you're going to put your fingers, I got these big sausage fingers, but you can go in there and you're just going to make sure that that is nice and sealed. Already you can tell I'm getting three-dimensional. I like it. Now I'm going to come over here. This time I'm not going to sharpie it. I see my mark right there. I know I got to put glue in here. So I'm going to go glue, 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 glue right there on this edge. I bring this and I'm going to match it up with that little mark right there. Perfect little sausage fingers. Here we go. Your cute little fingers are going to fit in there. Perfect. I got two done. Two dimension, three dimensional. I like it. Here we go. Next one. Here's the mark. Wonka, 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 wonka. Line it up. And gluey, gluey. Mm -hmm -hmm. That's what we like. Last one, right over here. 
gluey, gluey. Come over here, line it up right there, and reach in. You now have a three-dimensional star that is so pretty. And so what everyone's going to end up doing is taking their pieces and making a beautiful piece of artwork. You're going to take the one piece that you glued and you're going to go along your edges here like so. And we're going to glue that right in the center. Sometimes it's good when you're gluing something to flip it over and to rub it from the back so that it stays down because there's nothing worse than a whole bunch of curled up edges. Beautiful! Then we're going to glue this right on here. And I think I'm going to use a hot glue gun to do that for you so it doesn't go falling off. So we now have a three-dimensional piece of art. And when everyone starts to make this, we're going to be able to put these together and it is going to look awesome. Really awesome. So we're now going to start over and figure out how we're going to make your flat piece of marbled paper into a three-dimensional star. Let's start now.